Hey, we found Maroni. He actually lives in the the hotel. Not yet. Um. Don't do anything. I gotta make you regret. The shortest talk ever, I say. Hey, Morowski. You and me, we're not done. Do we have some kind of problem? You know. God dang it, man! Come back here. You know what? I think the place that I sat down was actually his office. So I'm gonna kill him in his office. I wonder if everyone will become hostile to me. If that is, that's sad. That means you gotta use stealth to kill them. They don't have a silenced weapon. I do got throw knives. Throw, throw two knives at them quickly. I'm like hell. Sounds like an idea, but. Don't sound like a good I one. Okay, I can definitely freaking. Wow, level six is. We got the sixes over here. Everyone's level six, what the hell? Where? Where? You and me, we're not. What done. the hell, man? Do we have some kind of problem? You know exactly what this is about. You stole from me. But I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't know who you were stealing from. It happens. Now you do. Those were my chems you took when you ambushed Trish. Shit, I knew she was killed her. What makes you think I had anything to do with that? Here's a tip. When you steal from me, don't leave witnesses. Makes it real easy to figure out who did it. Eh. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? I didn't know those were your chems. Yeah. That's a good start. Should've known better. Here's the deal. You pay me 2,000 caps, and I'll forget this ever happened. Just this once. Wait, what? I'm not paying a level 6 well, caps. 2,000 2, caps. You're that kind of stupid. Uh, hell no. I'm very tired of looking at your ugly face. It's 2,000 caps to square things. What'll it be? Not a chance. Then we're done here. Stan, my friend here was just leaving. You heard the boss. Let's go. No. Piss off. <clears throat> you wanna be on your way, Ace? No, I'm gonna kill Maroni. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, I freaking missed. Have you lost your mind? What could they have possibly done? Piper. Piper. Did, did, did you really just say that? Did you really just say that about the Mafia? That threatened to break my legs if I did not give him 2,000 caps. Piper. What is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god. <sighs> Can't leave a body. I was thumbing his freaking penthouse. It's bat too. Close the door on them. His goons will find a surprise when they do come in, though. I wonder if he actually, if we actually paid him. If you'd like, give us mafia quests. Eh, too late. Sound like an asshole. Um, let's. Explore good neighbor, see if we can pick up any quests. Did not explore Diamond City that much. I should actually go do that. Find any quests. Why are there freaking Miniman in here? How's 
Hancock, you talk. Why do you have minimum banners? Do you support us that much already? Or did one of my guys just like show up there, just plant a flag down, like ram it into the freaking floor? I'm like, yeah, Minuteman, hell yeah. That that would actually be really freaking funny to think about it. If you're thinking about it, that would be hilarious. Just shows up, just rams a flag into the ground. Okay, it's the memory den. Let's see if there's anything in here. See if there's anything in here. I'm wondering. Oh, excuse me. Whew. Oh my god, it's dim as shit in here, like all everywhere. I think you've stepped into what the, the hell? Place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even know what we do here? Um you're a pimp. No? Um. Does this involve a guessing. back room and a handful of singles? Oh, you have the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Cole. I had a feeling. Let me tell you, reliving an experience, the right experience, it's far more intense than anything else. But it's not for everyone. Why not? I asked you wonder yeah. why not. It's no secret that reliving a memory can be about having a good time or helpful in remembering something you've forgotten or lost. But like anything worth doing in life, honey, it's got a kick to it. And the first time can be traumatic. So I keep the client list very small. People I trust. It helps us avoid a lot of unpleasantness. I get it. I'll go. I'm sorry we couldn't help you, sweetheart. Maybe some other time. Okay then. Talk to more. I have a lot of very precise words. I was actually gonna say Dr. Do Moore. And it's like no Dr. Mari. Guess when that's what his name was. I I haven't played like this game like once. Oh. Darn, can't can't access back room. Sustas! Guess loot. More stairs. Guess more loot. Ah, oh, crap. I had to steal this loot. I don't want to steal this loot. Screw that. Screw that. P Piper will hate me. Uh, wait, what? Gray Fork. Oh. <laughs> I thought it said Gray Fork. I was like, nope. Gray Kit Nick Cap. Yeah. Not speak, apparently. What the hell? Oh, this is like a dressing room. Oh. Oh. I think I know what this place was before the war. Yep, definitely. Wait, what the? Haven't I seen this? I've seen this guy before. He was in Diamond City as a security guard. He was in Diamond City Marketplace. And I saw him when I entered Good Neighbor. And also, I think I saw him at the thing. We'll turn away. If I remember correctly, this is like Deacon or something like that. I wrote if I remember correctly. Oh, at the you're not Irma. Kent. Kent Connolly. Okay. <clears throat> Good Neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Oh, uh, for a second I thought I was gonna like sell drugs or something. Like, you gotta get away from that, you hear? Like, I feel like it's like, hey, I got like this cool new anesthetic that takes away. I thought that's what he was going to go with instead of going Silver Shroud. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! What? Okay, I'm 
I'm gonna ch go with Trey, Wasn't remember. He a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. That is a crazy plan. Good but that you. sounds awesome. Make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. I just have to do True. something, you know? I've built my own custom like machine that. gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine silver shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? So you want me to go fetch it. But I gotta say... Kent sounds like a freaking radio show host. Wasn't it like in New Vegas or something? Or like the Fallout 3 and Fallout Nick New Vegas? I'll get the correctly? costume for you. You're gonna do this? I love how my chin like phases through like my collar. Like it just phases in like, ah, oh, I'm part of you now, ha ha. So that's where you'll find it. Apparently put on clothing. Clothing that attaches to you, literally to your skin. Made to fit. At the whatever cost. Yep. Yep, I know what this place is for now. Yep, from the pit, from the posters. Okay. Is there any more quests? I wonder. No, no, I want to go find the railroad. I think... Stay free, man. I think, with a very loose... I think... I remember where they are. Hello, sir. Hello, man. How do you like freaking good name? Get, got mugged yet? Mugged yet? And let's move this dead body out of the... Entryway, don't want to scare the people off. Into the little outlet, would ya? Okay. I think it's like, I don't know, like around here maybe? I remember like good name was like really freaking close. And also, I have to like, like you will not be surprised like how like, oh a few gunfights and crossing like Boston and a few gunfights actually make how short like the travel time is. Like you don't even realize that's like, oh I sat off in Sanctuary Hills and I went to Diamond City and back and twice and set up a settlement. At Sanctuary and stuff like, oh, it's been like two hours. Oh, oh. Um, but no joke. Like, think about that. Like, you will not be. You'll be surprised like how fast time flies in this game. I am. If you if you watch the videos, you do. You do indeed. Okay. Really do need like. Oh, close to my fireplace, I feel. It's definitely glowed. Glowed? God. Cold. God, I cannot think. I'm dead and don't know anymore. Don't know. Not anymore, anyway. Yeah, it's five minutes left. Six more, like. Okay. And the gunfight's already going off. Let's call in some boys. Okay, let's go and see if we can find what we're looking for. The hell was that sound? Oh god, those are feral dogs. Feral ghoul dogs! Shoot it! Shoot it!
that lag spike though. You can't escape me. Wait, what the hell? Did a Raider spawn on your corpse, man? No. Come at me with a knife. Knight? A knife. I dare ya. Oh. Minimum got the back. Oh God! Oh! He just popped out of the ground and took a bite out of me. Okay, come on. Freaking Boston. More condensed. Definitely. Hey, May Market Mall. Don't remember this place. Don't think I've ever been in this place, like in the base game. Like, if I remember correctly, it was like the sixth, sixth playthrough. And I, like, went into the mall. Like, I remember correctly, like, here, this, this mall right there. That's because like a railroad quest, if I remember correctly. And there's the quest known as To the Mattresses. Which, and all, which honestly, saying from the mob, believe it or not, because whenever they would go to war, they would not stay in their home place. So they like stay in apartments or in hotels, and then sleep on mattresses or like. You like have a place with six, maybe twenty guys in there, and all be sleeping on mattresses, basically. That's where the saying "to the mattresses" come from and stuff. Ooh, this place looks cool. Buzz plays with streamers that actually are still up. Nice. Well, that I remember anyway. Old North Church. I think this is the place. Let's see if I can. Find the railroad's natural symbol of the lit Latin, and that's the magic symbol of that. Yeah. <sighs> okay, let's see if we don't get freaking murdered in the tunnels. And let's hope that the railroad does not just shoot me on sight, because... Miniman, bring an army to your doorsteps today! Join the Miniman, we'll bring an army to your doorsteps today! Changes it from a quieter gun to a louder gun. Like, eh, it's not, it's not loud enough. What was that? Um, this one, because it's definitely more accurate than this one, but doesn't do as much damage. No shotgun. God, I don't like this place. Even now, with the, like the darkness and stuff, you got bullets for me. Yes, you do. Hmm. Can I send some send some minimum first? I swear to God, I hate this place. Too many dark corners. I swear. What am I saying? I'll just do this alone. It's a waste of a flare if I shoot the flare and stush. Stush. Let's do this. Oh wait, my min min, min fell followed me. Come on guys, let's have a party. 
Don't back up into me! As a jerk, I swear. No, it actually is smart to make it look like, oh, Railroad's not here. Any reason? Because there's a bunch of feral ghouls in here, in the entrance. And know how they lure the feral ghouls into the entrance? By freaking pour, put a lot of glowing blood on it. it Shows produce light. Real quickly, it was a railroad. Past what is? Hmm. It spins. Ah. So it starts with R. I do gotta say, it is actually ingenious how they set this up and stuff, how to make like the bronze spin and also how to find them and stuff. I mean, it's like so freaking simple. It's probably why the Brotherhood found this place rather than the Institute because they, they're not smart enough to think stupid. Okay, this is a freaking trap. I can like walk through here and get lit up. Hey guys, come on, let's. The minimum to. Come on, guys, your minimum, you're supposed to go first. Did that just pop open? On its own? Huh. I don't like this. Eh. Okay, why did I talk like that for a second? I don't know. Stop right there. You Why is there so much smoke on the ceiling? This meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why do I have a feeling? She's just been like freaking. Well, they're waiting for me. They've like been just the chain smokers from hell. Like, if I'm a cook, like, there's like a ton of cigarettes, and whenever I like showed up, she always had like a cigarette in her hand and something like that. So why do I? Why do I have a feeling like she's been waiting here since like exited the vault? two years ago in this room and basically been just chain smoking the whole time whole time I swear okay why don't you tell me who are you, you guys are because first. why not ask that question first suspicion, because xp hunters, we're the synths only friends we're the railroad so answer my question <clears throat> a meeting I was just exploring. And you just happened to guess the password to the secret door. Right. It's clear you're not with the Institute. But who told you how to contact us? Those show those those shades. Those shades. I remember those shades anywhere. Only a few people wear shades. I think it's Deacon. I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. Oh my god, that actually worked! <laughs> and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are Deacon. Where have you been? You're having yep. a party. Yep, I recognize that face too. I need intel. Who is this? So it was wow. him that was telling me the whole time. Flash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out Why, thank you. Glad someone noticed. You know, you're practically famous. Dead. Seriously, you haven't heard of him? He's the leader of the Minutemen. It seems like the whole Commonwealth is flying his flag. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. Literally, every cell is flying off flag. Anything you've heard out there about us. I just like the girl on the freaking on her on her left that has like pure right white hair, black lipstick on, and has a freaking minigun. Definition of badass, right there. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. 
would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a simp? From what I remember about this game, how you tell who's the leader of a faction is by how eccentric their outfit is. Like, seriously, like, Elden Max is wearing a freaking bow coat over his, like, like, this big old, like, nice, badass looking overcoat from Crickly. Always like normal sh suit. Response would be appreciated. And okay, let's pause the game so she's not talking anymore. Um, the railroad has like the lady with a scarf and like freaking no sleeved jacket on and this gray, s just this gray undershirt. And the freaking we didn't get like this this colonial era freaking decorative outfit from a museum and. With like body pieces under it, and then the um institute, if I remember correctly, it's the one director guy has a green sh polo shirt on, a overcoat and pants. It is very very old. If I remember correctly, let's quick save because why not? You know what? Screw Once it. If I they my life if they hold a gun at my uh, and for me, pointing at my enemies. Uh, good guy. Your skills, your beliefs. Normally, we try and recruit you, but right now. And Piper like that. Okay. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. You. I know who you are. Glory. I remember name. Remember your name. Next time, I'm recruiting companions. I think she. No, she can't not. Yeah, Minutemen bringing an army to your doorstep. Look, we, it wasn't there three more of us, or did they die holding off the enemy? Yeah, Minutemen, as expendable as stormtroopers, which are very expendable. Wait, is there anything up here? No. Is there anything over here? No. Mm -mm. <coughs> Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. True, true, especially like if you're an underground in organization. Not to mention if this so-called organization has basically had you stalking me since I very well probably left the vault. To be honest, you probably have. Your leader was just being caught. Weird. I'll take hurt feelings over becoming the Institute's plaything any day. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. This guy sounds like the classic, like, nostalgia. No, not nostalgia. Um, classic freaking, like, 50s hippie, I swear. That's what this guy reminds me of, Deacon. So tell me, why did you vouch this for This guy has to be I think. Outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. You bet your ass, every freaking... Every settlement has a min, -min flag. Whether I like it or not. Probably. Give a quick save because I don't trust, why the, trust? the odds being in my favor. Be it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust. I should you, trust the odds we more. Can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game. But we don't have that luxury. Mama Crackle, that actually is a new. Really? Is that all? You just don't give up. Oh my god, uh, how? How game? Okay. People I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so maybe I asked around. Did and stalked me halfway across the Commonwealth. Us, a no more persistent than freaking Thanks Edward. Me the trip. So Des wants I think me that's his name. Tourist. That was the one ghoul guy that's, that's been following me around to every bar. What a waste. Tavern. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Wow, they need me. You I feel so wanted. I got a job. Too big for me? 
just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Yes, you shall serve the Miniman as our s intelligence ne network, yeah, network. But I love how, like, the Minutemen that's, like, following me, like, don't s I know they won't say anything, but it would have been comical that they, like, would have freaking, like, responded to, like, the doorway opening Appreciate and, like, the lights, like, is a lost art. and just, like, the lights turning on all of a sudden. Wouldn't be cool, like, if one, like, misfired and accidentally hit the ceiling or something. Not one of them, because that would suck. That's so they'd probably kill us all. Maybe they won't. Who knows? Um, but that, that would have just, like, been... The funniest thing, like all the moment two of them just respond. Start. Sign me up. Okay, then. there we go. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Well, that's gonna be one hell of a time. Um, boy, calm down. Do you have a silencer on your extended barrel and a sniper rifle, boy? Why are you not part of our rangers? Probably because you're a new recruit. Probably because you're a militiaman. Which is basically someone that just joined up, we gave him a gun and sent them off to the front lines to be a patrol of five guys. Knowing that they probably signed up with their friends and family. So they're probably serving, they were serving, or are serving with their brother. And so on and so forth, or friends from town. As a group of five, because... In wars, normally that's like the main thing that normally happens and stuff. Because they like sign up with friends and buddies and stuff before. Then they like make friends and buddies. And I don't have like a feeling. That because most of them died, most of them like. Like they're like really depressed. That's probably why they're not saying anything. He like goes back to the freaking door like. Is this actually a real thing? How? This is magic. Okay, I'm gonna quick save. Okay, guys, this will be where we leave off this time. When we come back, we're gonna join the railroad officially! Yay! And fight the Institute! Yay! With the Mimmin! Yay! Okay, enough yays. Um, see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.